In this video series we're taking a look at matrices and in part 4 we're going to focus on the identity matrix. Now before we look at the identity matrix in detail just a note on the square matrix. So a square matrix is any matrix with an equal number of rows and columns. So here's an example of a 3 by 3 matrix and this is referred to as a square matrix because it has an equal number of rows and columns. Okay, the identity matrix then is a square matrix which has elements equal to 1 along the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So here's an example of a 3 by 3 identity matrix and the diagonal from top left to bottom right is referred to as the main diagonal and that has uh, an entry of 1 for each of the elements and all of the others are 0, all the other elements there. Okay, you can also have a 2x2 two two identity matrix, a 4x4, four four, and so on. But all the time, it's always 1s along the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Okay, now any matrix multiplied by the identity matrix is unchanged. So if we take this example here, 3x3 three three matrix multiplied by a 3x3 three three identity matrix, what we get out when we calculate all of that is exactly the same as the matrix that we started with. So it's a little bit like multiplying a matrix by 1. So this is the, the, the matrix equivalent of 1. And it's very useful in certain applications, and we'll see a little bit later on in the video series how we can use this. And the identity matrix can be denoted simply by the letter I, capital I, and we often have a subscript to denote the size of the identity matrix. So I subscript 2 is a 2 by 2 identity matrix, for example. OK, so that's been a video about the identity matrix. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.